Let's figure out how to draw a centered equilateral triangle using the Python turtle module. We'll start with this. And just to maybe remind you of how this works, you say, you call functions like forward and you tell it how many pixels to move. And um, I'm going to call input at the end just so the program blocks and doesn't immediately close the window with the turtle graphics on it. Here we go. The window pops up and we get this forward movement along a straight line for 200 pixels. Now, to draw a triangle, we could do something like this. Go forward, make left turn, 360 over 3. 360 would be all the way around. A third of that would be the amount to turn for a corner of a triangle, of an equilateral triangle. And let's run this. And here's our triangle. Okay, that's great, but it's not centered at the origin. Only the starting point, that bottom left vertex, is at the center. So how are we going to center this? We know the side length is 200. So you might, it might be uh, clear to you that if we shift everything left by half of that side length, we will have centered it on the x-axis. So let's do that. Uh, but first we need to know how to do um, go to. So we could do go to. And then um, minus 100 and 0. So let's just throw that in. And that's nice, but it did some extra drawing at the beginning. We need to pull the pen up before we do the go to. Otherwise, it'll draw while it's going to the position that we said. Then we put the pen down. Now we run. And you saw it move from the origin over here, but it didn't draw. So that's good. So we've handled the horizontal movement offset, but now the vertical. And that might be a little harder because we don't know the height of this rectangle. How can we figure out the height of the rectangle knowing that the sides are 200? Well, what if we... Here's our equilateral triangle. These blue lines, blue arrows represent how much we need to move the starting position in order to draw an equilateral triangle that's centered at the position we want. Um, and this line I drew here represents the height of the triangle, and it's also one of the legs of a right triangle. So here's on the left half and the right half, we have a right triangle. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we can figure out the height. So from here, I think I'm going to jump to a finished version of this and step through in the debugger. And let's watch how it works. So we have a couple of functions. And then we call center equilateral triangle at the origin with the side length of, and let's just use the 200. So let's run this program and we'll see if this appears to work right. And it does. So the center of the triangle is about here and that's the, that's the origin. Okay, let's go through in the debugger. We'll put a breakpoint here. So here we are, I'm pressing F7 to step into. And now we're, we're inside of center equilateral triangle. And um, X and Y are zero, that's the origin. Side length is 300. So in order to find the height, this will call a function find equilateral triangle height for a given side length. And let's go in and See that? That's where the math is. So the, what we're calling the base is the side length over 2. So here's base, side length over 2. And the base squared is just the base times the base. So you see we've gone from 
100 to 10,000. And the hypotenuse is the same as the side length. So now we have the hypotenuse of 200. And the hypotenuse squared is going to be what? 40,000. And now I have a little comment here. So Pythagoras taught us that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the base squared plus the height squared. So I've just written that out. And then with a little algebra, we can see that the, uh, by subtracting base from both sides, we get hypotenuse squared minus base squared equals height. And then just flipping things around the other side of the equal sign, we have height squared gets hypotenuse squared minus base squared. And that's what we have here, height squared equals hypotenuse squared minus base squared. And that gives us 30,000. And then we take the square root of that, and that gives us the height. So the height of that is, assuming a side length of 200 is about 173. So if it's 200 across, about 173. So half of that will get us uh, the, the change we need to make to the y starting position. Uh, so we'll return now from this function. And now we have the height. And now we want to compute the x offset. So that's just negative side length over 2. So side length is this whole thing. Uh, negative side length over 2 would be minus 100. There it is, minus 100. So that means shift to the left. And then the y offset is just negative half the height. And then we'll print out all these things. So if we look in the console here, side length, height, x offset, y offset. Now we can lift the pen, uh, which makes the graphics window up here. We'll go back here. We do our go to, put the pen down, start our loop, forward, left turn, forward, left turn, forward, left turn, just to jump over and show you that it's, oh, it's actually not going to show it to us until we get a little farther along, I think. And then we're done with this. So there we go. That's how you can use a little bit of um, what we learned from Pythagoras to calculate how to center an equilateral triangle around a particular point using Python turbo graphics.